it's Lena and I'm here today with my pan that palette update and a new idea that I had that I will get to in a second but I will first go over my Lorac Pro. I've been panning this for officially 18 months now and it won't die. <laughs> Why won't it die? I don't know. I know so many people finish this in a year and I just can't. I can't with these shadows. Ugh, anyways, let me go ahead and show you. As you can see, mauve is almost gone. Pewter is almost gone, but it'll probably take me a little bit to finish it because I mix it. Black has a ton of pan, and most of that I have actually used. It has not really crumbled away. And espresso has a good chunk of pan showing. Now, what I want to do next, because there are no lid shades in here, I mix pewter with something to make a lid shade, but beyond that, there are no lid shades in here. I decided to do my own sort of palette roulette type thing. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. I don't think anybody else has done this. If they have, somebody let me know down below and I will totally give them credit for it. But what I did was I listed every eight pan and above shadow in my phone, which I have a ton. The only thing, literally the only thing I didn't list was my Lorac Pro. Even stuff that has pan in it, I listed. Because at first I was like, well, I'll keep out those couple of palettes that I have pan and shadows in. And then I was just like, why don't I just list everything and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick three palettes. And as soon as I hit pan in one of them, I'm going to pick another palette. Now, if I hit pan on it during the month between, I'm going to keep using it until... I get to the next update so that I can pull on camera rather than just setting it aside and hopefully that'll make me hit more pan in the shade. Now I'm not gonna measure, I'm not gonna use any kind of measurement for the pan. Like if it's a fleck of pan, as long as it's visible on camera, we're gonna go with it. Now I, I have 56 palettes on here. I have a lot of palettes. I wasn't kidding. And I'm at random.org right now so we're gonna start generating numbers. All right let's get the first one. 54. 54 is my Profusion Color Canvas. So I know what that is. And I, I'll, I will go and get them in a minute. My second one, number 20. Wet and Wild Blue had me at hello. Actually, I need to like star these to make sure that I don't like start screwing up and pulling things twice. And the third one is number one. And that is my naked one, which actually has pan on a sh two shadows and one shadow is gone. All right, let me go get those and I will be right back to show them to you. Okay, I'm back. So this one is the Color Mates. What is that damn thing called again? Let's see. I wrote Color Canvas, but it's Color Me Glow. It's the it's, it's the same thing. Well, actually not, but I don't feel like getting up and going and getting the other one. So we're going to just pan this. Definitely has a lot of shades to choose from. There is a little bit of face powder in this that got spilled by accident. So I will clean that up. I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet. That will probably come in the next update once I have some progress showing. Next is Blue Had Me at Hello. Now the only like rule I have for what shade I'm gonna pick is, I don't think it's gonna really come up in these, but I don't wanna hit pan on a cream like basic color. For one, I'm trying to hit pan on a cream, what I would use as like a brow bone highlight in a different project. And two, that's just too easy. That's too easy, I don't want this to be super easy. And finally, we have my Urban Decay Naked palette. Like I said, Virgin is like half gone. Sin is totally gone. And I do have pan on, slight pan on Creek. So it will be a different shadow from those. Although I will not stop myself from using either Virgin or Creek necessarily. Probably won't be using Creek because I still have, you know, my Black and my Rock Po. But that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you next month. If you want to join in on this, please feel free. <laughs> You're probably not as crazy as me, but if you are, totally join in. If you have too many eyeshadow palettes. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye!